look now at uh, scenario three, and in this scenario, James scheduled a Google Meet video call for an IP meeting and actually set the case manager um, as a co-host. So let's take a look at um, what a co-host can do in Google Meet. So this is uh, what you see here is what it would look like on the end of the co-host in their email, and they would get the calendar invite, and we're just going to go ahead and accept that, and then <clears throat> they actually have the, they can join Google Meet right here. So in this case. All right, in this case here, um, uh, as a co-host, I'm gonna go ahead and join now. And I am the only one in this Google Meet video call. Uh, so what, as we can see, a co-host can start the Google Meet video call. It doesn't have to be the main host. If we, let's take a look at a few other things that a co-host can do. On uh, the bottom right corner, we have the host controls. And you can see all these different controls here that uh, the co-host now has access to, which is virtually the same as the host. I also want to do, uh, definitely be aware of here are the turn on the video. This is the video lock. And then you have the turn on the microphone. This would be considered the audio lock. So we have three things here, three major things here that a co-host can do that a, uh, uh, a, uh, a regular host can also do, which includes video lock, audio lock, and actually starting the meeting without the host.